Hello and welcome to Blue Average Gaming. I'm your host, the Blue Average Gamer. Today we are going to be doing a podcast with my beautiful fiance, Lauren Gale, soon to be Lauren Sue. Lauren, say hi. Hello. Hi. And um, first off, we're going to start. We're going to be playing a game today, as well as some other really fun and interesting things like we do on every podcast. But first, um, our premarital counselor told us to do this quiz. So let's go ahead and do this personality quiz. Okay. What's the site? Um, 16 personalities. I'm going to fast forward through all this, so it doesn't matter. Oh, I should have pooped. <laughs> um. 16... 16 personalities. Yeah. Test. My computer's going slow because I'm running like four things at once. Um, Is that it? I did. Scientology.org? That one right there. Is this what they want? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay. Oh, I just do the test. It's now on. I'm loading. Shoot. Oh, it's right there. Okay, agree or disagree? <clears throat> you find it difficult to introduce yourself to other people. What are you going to put? <laughs> That's very difficult. I'm going to put that I disagree. So you're going to put that you strong. I wouldn't put that. That's mine. You okay. can do your own. I'll put that I disagree. Okay. You, you often get so lost in thought that you ignore or forget your surroundings. Disagree. I'll put slightly disagree. I think we'll put the same one. Slightly disagree. Yeah. There's six options that you can pick from. I, f I feel like you can never do the completely agree or completely disagree. I, I already did a completely disagree. Why? On the first one. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. I feel like, I feel the opposite. I feel like I'm constantly doing agree or disagree, and it's the middle ground that I have trouble with. So I feel like they're all just like yes or no. Okay, I try to, sp to respond to your emails as soon as possible and cannot stand a messy inbox. True. I semi-disagree. This isn't true or false. I don't know why I said true. True. I'm <laughs> a, what test are you taking <laughs> over there? Okay, wait, hold on. And try to respond to even Okay. You find it easy to stay relaxed and focused even when there is some pressure. Mm, I, agree. I agree. I strongly agree. <laughs> I, I think that's a disagree for you. <clears throat> what? I find it easy to stay relaxed and focused? Well, maybe pressure. relax, but not I'm not when everyone else... You the don't thing is, focus When well. everyone else is being crazy, I'm very easy to go, okay, let's just do this. But you can never focus on one thing. Okay. Oh, there's a middle one! Yeah, there's like an... An, an invisible middle one? Can you pick one. it? Yeah, you can. <laughs> um, I think that just means you don't want to answer, though. I don't think that that's you're an neutral. answer. You're neutral. I think that means you're not going to answer the question. Even when there is some pressure... You find it easy to stay relaxed and focused even when there is some pressure. I'm going to put ever so barely agree you do not usually initiate conversation disagree um sort of no agree. that's wrong no that's right you never you hate starting conversations it doesn't ask with who if it's someone i know it's really easy now if we go back to the other okay, question that's fine yeah because i would say if it's someone that you don't they know specific you enough. would put really strongly disagree but i feel like if it's someone you do know then you'd be here so i think you'd be here on, on the ever so slightly disagree. Because no. I feel like you don't like starting conversations with people that you know, but you will. I agree that I do not usually initiate conversations. Oh, yes, you're right. I'm looking at it backwards. <laughs> you really do something just out of sheer curiosity. Disagree. I do that all the time. <laughs> Strongly disagree. Wait, um... You rarely do something just out of sheer curiosity. I'll, I'll go with the Why slightly you disagree. Lying. <laughs> You're not doing this right. You're answering all okay, of your questions wrong. I don't know wrong. how to answer that one, so I'll just do. You rarely do something out of sheer curiosity. That is strongly agree. <laughs> you never do anything that's like, oh, I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but I'll do it just to see. <laughs> never, never. Okay, well, I'll just. No, you're here. <laughs> no, okay. you're here. <laughs> You, I is, want to say here, but I'm meeting you in the middle this here. This is my personality. Thing. You don't know your own personality. I know to other my people. personality. Right you don't know now. your own personality to other people. Oh. Okay. You feel superior to okay, other wait, people. Wait, hold on. I didn't catch up. Superior? I want to put that I disagree. <laughs> I don't think that I'm superior. I want to say I disagree, but I think that would be really hypocritical. Of I'm going to put slightly agree. <laughs> Ever so I mean, slightly. I do have a degree, so. I don't think I'm superior to other people, but I think that I act like it a lot. I don't as think I, I don't think I intentionally as a person have a better being value organized is more than important. anybody, but I think that I'm pretty 
Okay. Being okay. organized is more important to you than being adaptable. Yes. I strongly disagree. <laughs> I would much rather be adaptable. You are organized. not adaptable. Anytime something. Am I organized or am I adaptable? You're not organized and you're not adaptable either. Whenever there's a change of plans, you freak out and you get so upset and a lot of. Fine, I'll do ever so slightly disagree. You have a point. Yeah. Okay. Like you are usually highly motivated and energetic. Strongly agree. Yeah. I am very motivated. Winning a debate matters less to you than making sure no one gets upset. I agree. Strongly. Uh, not strongly disagree, but I disagree. Winning a debate matters less to you than making sure no one gets upset. Oh, wait. Then I'm, ag I'm agree. I'm strongly disagree. I would much rather win. I'm thinking of... These questions are... They're backwards. Backwards. I think they're like that because it, it makes you have to think about it for a sec. So, okay. You often feel as if you have to justify yourself to other people. Strongly agree. I I need your help with this one. As though I need to justify myself to other people. I s kind of agree. Yeah, because when we argue, you you have to explain why. I know I do. Well, I know that I very commonly when we argue, I'm just like, you know what, whatever, it's fine. But I, I yeah, I have so to I think that I'm justify myself Just always. a little bit agree. Because I think we're both the same, but I usually cave before you do. <laughs> yeah. So if you agree, I'm almost all the way agree. <laughs> Your home and work environments are quite tidy. Strongly agree. S ever so slightly disagree. My workstation is so... If you saw it, it's so pristine. You wouldn't believe it. I, or, I but spent, the rest of your room is... My room's a mess. Terrible. Because that's all my stuff. I clean my work because I know other people are using that same stuff. So I want that to be clean for them. You're so polite. You do not mind being at the center of attention. I, I strongly agree. I love being the center I of attention. I hate being the center of attention. Although I notice, like, I, I will crave it, but once I am the center of attention, I don't know what to do. I think that's a good one for you. I think right there in the, in the semi, semi, agree, semi disagree. So, like, I'll do stuff to get attention. Don't do that one. That's like a cheap move if you do the middle. That means that you don't want to pick one. I thought you just told me to do that one. No, I said, I meant this one oh. here. In the middle of the disagrees. Like, on the scale of one to three on disagree, you're like a two. You do not mind... At the center of attention. I think that one's safe for me. Okay, whatever. You consider yourself more practical than creative. Yes. Agree. Agree. I think I'm practical and creative, but I think that I'm a lot more creative than I am practical. Yes. You and are. I don't mean that to like toot my own horn and say, oh look, I'm really creative. I'm saying I'm not very practical. You're not. People can rarely upset you. I think I agree. I think people upset me a lot. I'm just really good at hiding it. I think people upset me, but I kind of like that. Like at work when I have a bad customer, I love having a bad customer because I like getting upset because then I get to try to fix it. So I'm going to put, people can really upset you. I'm going to put almost completely agree. Your travel plans are usually well thought out. Agree. No. I'm going to put ever so slightly agree. No. Because ever so slightly agree. Because they're not bad. They usually end up working. My, my chat when I make travel plans and stuff, they end up working even yeah, though they're, they're not so that great. they're so stressful. They're not great planned out, but they end up they're working. So I'm going to put ever so slightly agree because I know they're going to work. You're the one who gets stressed out because you don't know. It is often difficult for you to relate to other people's feelings. Strongly I agree. agree. What? I, strong, I don't think that I can relate to other people's feelings very well. What kind of person are you? I'm just dead inside. It is often difficult for you to relate... Oh, wait, we already said that one. Yep. <laughs> Your, mood Your mood can, can change, change very quickly. quickly. I'm going to say semi-yeah. Mm. Kind of, I kind of agree. It depends on who I'm with. Like, if I'm with you, my mood can change really quickly, depending on what stupid thing you did. But, like, if I'm with my friends, I'm pretty calm and mellow. Whatever. Are you on the next one already? I'm, I'm about to, but you're taking a long time. And, oh, we're, we, there's a hundred questions? Nuh-uh. Yeah, because there's ten on each of these pages, and we just did the third page. Oh, my gosh. And it's at 30. In a discussion, truth should be more important than people's sensitivities. No. I strongly agree. No. I mean, truth is good, but it de you you should tell the truth in a very sensitive way. No, I think if it's true, it doesn't I'm matter. Not say, I'm not saying don't I'm not saying you should beat around the bush and like sugarcoat. I'm just saying like okay, so say someone you know is like like if it's like hey, grandma died. I'm just gonna, I killed grandma. <laughs> <laughs> just straight up do it like I don't know. Like, okay, if you're having an affair and you're ch telling your... Children? Significant other okay. that you were cheating on them, 
like you should tell them the truth and just end that relationship. So what you're that saying is you strongly strong. agree. No, I don't strongly agree because you should still tell them the truth, but it's not the truth isn't more important than sensitivity. You should be very sensitive to other person's feelings about the fact you're about to ruin their day. <laughs> Man, my spouse is cheating on me for eight years. That ruined my day. <laughs> well, I'm I'm not gonna strongly say agree. That I'm gonna strongly <laughs> agree. This is my quiz. You have your own quiz. Okay. You rarely worry See, about. See, I was having to just my by myself. You r rarely worry about how your actions affect other people. I'm gonna put. I disagree. I ever so slightly agree. Because I tend to want to do what I want to do, I know, and it's a it's a jerk thing to do. But I tend to want to do what I want to do, and then later I'm like, oh, that probably affected someone bad. Yeah. Like that time that I threw that kid into the pit at the zoo, and that gorilla got him, and they had to kill the gorilla. Your work style is closer to random energy spikes than to a methodical and organized approach. Agree. Strongly, Strongly agree. agree. <laughs> Are we going to fight about that, or do we both agree with what we're saying? I mean, I agree with your answer. I agree with your answer. Because I know, I that know that's you. Yeah. You are often envious of others. I'm going to say I, I, ki I, sem I kind of disagree. I think I'm going to do a kind of agree. I don't think I'm ever envious of other people, like where I'm like, oh, I want that thing that they have, but I'm like, oh, it'd be nice to have that. Yeah. It's not like I'm going to take it from them. Yeah. Because I want it I feel them. like a strongly agree is you want to take it to the point that you're like, I would steal that from them if I had the chance. Yeah. I feel like strongly disagree is like... Well, if you think about all the times that you walk around and be like, oh, that person has that. That's so cool. Like, that's kind of being envious. Like, oh, I, I think the issue with that is, that, like we talk about all the time, that I spend money like crazy. And if it is something I truly want, then I'm like, oh, I'll just go get one. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, I know. An interesting book or a video game is often better than a social event. No. I disagree. I'm ever so slightly disagree because I love video games. And I like reading, but I'll... But I would rather go to a social event, I'd say 60% of the time. Well, I like doing, like, family stuff, and yeah. I love... Well, I, if doing... someone was like, hey, I'm playing a video game, and they're like, hey, we're going to go hang out tonight. That's just one person versus maybe... Or like, I'm saying, like, groups, or like, a group of friends, like, hey, we're going yeah. out tonight. I would much I'd, I'd much rather go out than play video games, but I do love playing video games. So I put I put ever so slightly disagree. Okay, being able to develop a plan and stick to it is the most important part of every project. I agree. Middle I disagree. Mean. I think sometimes a project can be made better by the weird things you didn't account for. Yeah. Next, you rarely get carried away by fantasies and ideas. Agree. I'm going to put uh, ever so slightly disagree. Because I like fantasies oh. and I like ideas. No, I don't think that I get carried away with them you so often with plans. Carried away. I often, you often find yourself lost in thought when you are walking in nature. No, I strongly disagree. Semi-agree. I'm scared of nature. Okay, if someone does not respond to your email quickly, you start worrying if you said something wrong. Yes. Middle agree. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do ever so slightly agree. As a parent, you would rather see your child grow up kind than smart. <laughs> Middle agree. I really want us to be on the same page, so I'm going to say that one. I have a question. I honestly... Wait a minute. You would rather have a smart kid who's a dick? Yeah. Running around pushing old ladies down? But who, oh, who cares? He's smart. Yeah, you know, that's what happened. That's what happened to me. I'm fine. You would have been whooped if you did that. As a parent, you'd rather see your child grow up kind than smart. I look at this as, as a range of, like, agree is kind and disagree is smart and where I want them to fall on that. I'm actually going to move them down a step. Oh, my God. <laughs> right, now that we've talked about it, I'm going to move him down a step. He's going to grow up to be just a little a-hole. Justin. But I asked my boy. Justin. You do not let other people influence Seriously? your actions. I'm not letting you influence my actions. You do not let other people influence your actions. Semi agree because I'm really bad about that. I let people persuade me. Yeah, I'm gonna put ever so slightly agree. Yeah, it depends on what it, the subject is. Yeah, if it's something that I care about, obviously I'm gonna do disagree. If it's something that's kind of like, like eh. if someone says, "Hey, want some weed?" I'll be like, "Heck no," but if someone's like, "Hey, 
I want a drink. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm like, kind of upset by sure. the way you're like, no one ever has a blunt with the weed in it. Would you like some weed? They go, would you like to smoke something or would you like this blunt to try something? They don't like wrap it up and go, would you like to try this weed? Oh, hey there, know. children. Would you like a marijuana? Your dreams tend to focus on the real world and its events. I strongly disagree. Is that dreams like what I dream about, or yes. is that dreams like my future goals? Like your ask. <laughs> I don't know how to say that word. Aspirations. You got it. Your dreams tend to focus on the real world and its events. Um. Like I make my dreams where they're like, real on. like realistic too. <laughs> when I choose what to dream about, <laughs> it does not take you time to start getting involved in social activities at your new place. Agree. A middle agree. Hey, um, do you work this Sunday? No, because I told you I took the day off to go to John's birthday oh. in the mountains. Why? What's going on? Okay. Because uh, this question reminds me, Alyssa's doing an ice cream social event. What time? Like 7? In the morning or at night? At night. Why would it be in the morning? <laughs> I don't know. We're having an ice cream party. It's at 7. Oh, a.m.? Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought it might be something before work. I don't you know. are more of a natural <laughs> improviser than a careful planner. No. I strongly disagree. I'm just kidding. I fully agree. <laughs> I was going to say, are you Half of these, me? I'm putting an answer just to see if you're going to call me on it. Um, we're halfway done. I'm in the middle of disagree. Oh my gosh, we're halfway done. Your emotions control you more than you control them. I, don't I even, disagree. I, I have no emotions. Yeah, that's like a... Are you more pulled by your emotions or by your like logic is what i think of it i think i'm pretty well rounded in that my emotions and my logic are right up next to each other i'm gonna put i think that my emotions sometimes tend ever so slightly disagree i'd say that my emotions don't tend to get the best of me i will say i slightly agree because of my emotions like a reaction yeah. And then what I do after that is based on how I feel, I guess. So. Okay, I'm um, ready to move on. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> you enjoy going to social events that involve dress-up or role-play activities. Heck I yeah. strongly disagree. I strongly agree. I am all in. Role-play. I am all that screams in. Nasty. Role-play? That's like uh, Comic-Con. Oh. That's what I think of. <laughs> Like characters like the guy who dresses up like Deadpool and he goes and he's just a jerk to everyone because that's the character. Oh, okay. You often spend time exploring unrealistic and impractical yet intriguing ideas. I semi-agree. Se middle disagree for me. You would rather improvise than spend time coming up with a detailed plan. Ever so slightly agree. I like to have a detailed plan, but I like to improvise as well. Look at We're exactly the opposite on the last three questions. Oh, like Go up a little bit. I want to see where we're at on the other Oh! <laughs> Next one. Oh! No, they're not really the They're same. each on the opposite side. No! That is not on the opposite the, side. The, okay, out of those ten, one of them is on the same side. Next. Hold on, slow down. You are a relatively reserved and quiet person. Agree. Middle agree. Okay, I disagree. Why don't you answer for yourself? Because you're distracting me over here. If you had a business, you would find it very difficult to fire loyal but underperforming employees. I wouldn't find it very difficult, but I would find it difficult. I'm going to put... Semi-agree. Se no. You're wrong. You wouldn't fire anyone. If you had to go to someone and be like, you're fired, today's your last day. Excuse me. You wouldn't do it. This is my life. You here. wouldn't do it. I'm saying that you're putting that you agree at all. You would not do it. I know you would not do it. If I have a job to do as an employer, and my this was a job description... Of firing people who were underperforming, I would do my job. No, you wouldn't. I don't believe that you would do that. You can put that, but it's going to mess up I your answer. I would be very sensitive it's to their gonna feelings mess up about the answer. firing them, then and I would still have them the truth right there. No, stop. You Please. often contemplate the reasons for human existence. I do. I mean, middle agree because I'm a... Okay. What? No, no it's nothing. What? I'm a Christian, so I... So then why would you contemplate the reason for human existence if you know? Because I think about it. I'm not... It doesn't... You're like, I know the no, Bible says it this. It doesn't contemplate. It you doesn't say, say question. I know the Bible says I'm this. I'm not questioning. But, I'm, but, but you shouldn't think about it then. You should, I think you just shouldn't... Th if that's your... Re that's not my reasoning for putting that answer. But I'm saying if that's your reasoning is because you're saying I'm a Christian and I read the Bible, then 
you shouldn't question it. You should just be all in and agree. That's the, it says we, you often contemplate. What are contemplate. you thinking about when you contemplate it then? What are you thinking about when you contemplate when it? When I contemplate, I'm like, what am I supposed to be doing? Am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? That kind of thing. I'm just contemplating. But that's not human existence. That's like morality. To human me, existence is like, why are we here? To me, human existence is almost aligned with morality. Whatever. We're going to fight. Logic is usually more important than heart when it comes to making important Hold decisions. On, this is a long one. Logic is usually more important than heart when it comes to making important decisions. Mm -hmm. So do you tend to think more logically about decisions or do you tend to think more emotionally? <laughs> I'm going to say that I think ever so slightly more logical. I want to agree with that, with your answer, because that's a hard one. It, it just depends on the situation. you got to put a dog down if your dog's sick and dying. Then logic, Ellie, I would do it. That's what I did with Nanners. I didn't want to put her down, but Nanners is still alive. I mean, I mean, Jack Jack. <laughs> Jack Nanners. <laughs> Jack Jack had the surgery that he was needing to be healed <laughs> was like thousands of dollars, and I knew I wasn't gonna make my parents pay thousands of dollars for a cat, so we had to put him down, and I cried. I know you're bored with this, right? So I'm just checking to make sure on. the camera's okay. I don't want to. Find out that we haven't been able to record okay. in the past 20 minutes. Keeping your options open is more important than having a to-do list. I... Semi-agree. I... That's not semi. You keep on changing what that means. I say ever so slightly agree. Ever so slightly agree. Okay. I just use different words. Well, you keep on saying semi for the middle one. No, middle. I say middle agree for middle. Okay. If your friend is sad about something, you are more likely to offer emotional support than suggest ways to deal with the problem. I, I middle disagree because I'm tend to try to figure out the answer. If your friend is sad about something... Oh, I feel like this one's like a straight up middle one because it just depends. Like if they're sad over a breakup and they're 16 years old, then I'm just gonna be like, get over it. So then you would give them an answer. You So you yeah. disagree. So if your friend is sad about something... But I am very likely to... I don't ever see myself being like, know. there, this there. Grandma's in a better place now. What? I tend to think of an answer. We'll go get you a new grandma. Thing. You don't really know. More likely, to, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do. S How about you just stay right there for the entire I test? I will. Because you're just doing the same answer over and over. You rarely feel insecure. I agree. Strongly mm -hmm. agree. Middle disagree. I never am insecure ever. Because you're a male. You have no difficulties coming up with personable with personal timetable and sticking to it. Ever so slightly agree. Middle agree. Being right is more important than being cooperative when it comes to teamwork. I strongly agree. Semi-agree. I don't think that's right. I know I keep on saying that you're doing them wrong, but when we were in com group communications and you were the leader, when someone came up to you and said, here's my idea, and you knew it wasn't going to work, <laughs> were you more likely to be like, no, that's not going to work? Or were you more likely to be like, okay, yeah, maybe we can try that? And see how that goes. Well, if they were way off, it was more like... It was more like you'd wait for the rest of the group to tell them they were off. You wouldn't do it. <laughs> yeah. I think you're in the purple. You're in the disagree what? somewhere. I don't think you're in the agree at all on that. That was just one situation, though. But it's a big situation that's relevant to what's going on here. Being right is more is important to Being me right properly. is not more important to me. Whatever. You think, that everyone's view, you think that everyone's view should be respected regardless of whether they are supported by facts or not. I think everyone's view should be respected. I mean, yes. No. I, I, sound, I ever so slightly disagree. I think if you don't have any facts on what you're saying, you're, you're, what, you're, what you think about it is not important. Oh. If you have I, no facts I, I to back that. it, if then what you're, you're saying is not important. supported by facts. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm with you there. I spend... I feel more energetic after spending time with a group of people. Middle agree. I middle agree. You frequently misplace things. Um, I ever so slightly agree. Middle disagree. I frequently misplace things. Oh, actually, I mean this one. I mean, uh, ever so slightly disagree. <laughs> you do misplace things. I don't misplace anything, ever. My room is a mess. You ask me where something is, I'll tell you exactly where it is right now. See yourself as very emotionally stable. I strongly agree. You're a liar. You're a liar. <laughs> it's only because I've had to deal with more things. Than no, you. if we got an argument right now, and we got an argument for longer than two minutes, you'd be screaming and crying and hitting your head on stuff and banging your fists. 
I know that for a fact. I have evidence and I have facts that this serious? happened. Are you serious? You're lying to them. Don't lie to them. Why are you lying to them? You are making a scene right now. You're the mine. fact that I can make you go from like here to like off in a matter of a two minute fight, I would say it's not emotionally stable. That's why I'm in the middle agree. No, I'd, I think that you're in the purple or you should not answer. I think you're at least here. <laughs> if you had to deal this with the even. life situations that I've had to deal with, my emotional stability makes sense. Okay. I agree. It does make sense. <laughs> so it should be over here. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, because you're saying like, oh, all this stuff happened to me in life. That's why I'm like this. Okay, so you're over there. <laughs> no. But you can't say like, well, you know, I killed 800 people. <laughs> so I'm okay with that as my reference. You're not going off of your reference. You're going off of where you are, period. Like, oh yeah, you know, I watched a man shoot my I father in the face when I was five years old. I'm emotionally stable. But you're saying I'm emotionally stable? For what happened to me in life. Yes, I've had to overcome Which means you're not stable! <laughs> <laughs> this I is not a normal conversation! <laughs> the fact we're having this conversation means you should be on the purple side. I'm not moving over to the purple side. Whatever. You're wrong, and I'm going to tell him that you're wrong. I'm going to tell him you answered all your questions incorrectly. <laughs> at premarital counseling. You do that, and I'm just going to sit there and smile. You know what we should do? We'll answer it. Well, first we'll do the test as us, and then we'll do it a second time. As if we're answering for each other. Okay. I'm down. Your mind is always That's buzzing. That's 100 questions. It's fine. Well, we know them, so we'll just run through them. Your mind is always buzzing with unexplored ideas and plans. Strongly. I mean, a middle disagree for me. A middle agree. You would not call yourself a dreamer. Strongly disagree. I think I'm a dreamer 100%. Semi. You may say that I'm wait, a dreamer, I'm, but I'm not the only one. Wait. This, this, the way it's boarded, this does not make sense to me. You would not call yourself... A dreamer. So, dreamer, not dreamer. Oh, okay, I'm over here then. You find it difficult, you usually find it difficult to relax when talking in front of many people. Very I much agree. Strongly disagree. I cannot be in front of people. I love being in front of people. The biggest group I got to talk in front of one time was over a thousand people, and I think about it all the time. <laughs> yeah. Generally speaking, you rely more on your experience than your imagination. Middle agree. Middle agree. No, middle disagree. Sorry. You worry too much about what other people think. I disagree. Strongly disagree. I don't ever... I think I worry just the right agree. amount. <laughs> All right. So home stretch. Last ten questions. If the room is full, you stay closer to the walls, avoiding the center. Semi agree. Semi agree. Huh? No, that's middle agree. You or, stay... Sorry, middle agree. If the room is full, you stay close to the walls? That's because I get scared of being like in a mosh pit type area. If I'm on a stage in the middle of people where I'm fine, have my own space, I'm good. But you love being the center. I do. So you would Unless be there's a thousand people around me. I would ra okay, if it were like, if I were at a concert, I'd rather be up on the stage where I have my own space and there's a million people looking at me than be in a place where no one's looking okay. at me, but I'm in the okay. middle of a million people. Do you get it or not? Yeah. Don't touch my mouse, please. I'm sorry. You have a tendency to procrastinate until there is enough time to do everything. Until there's not enough time to do everything. Semi, d middle, middle disagree. I, s I ever so slightly agree. Um, no, you're, you're right there. You always procrastinate. I procrastinate, but I give myself enough time to do what I need to do. I don't procrastinate until there's not enough time. And then you sometimes you're doing things the night Because it says until there's not enough time to do everything. I always do everything. Uh, so there's enough time. Okay. Shut up. <sighs> You feel very anxious in stressful situations. Yeah, I middle disagree. Middle agree. You believe that it is more rewarding to be liked by others than to be powerful. Middle agree. That's a hard one. I want both. <laughs> I want power and I want to be liked by people. What if I had to pick? I want to ever so slightly agree. Because I, I want to be liked more than I want power. You have always been interested in unconventional and ambiguous things. In books, art, and movies. Lauren, what's the definition of ambiguous? Just different and 
fun. It's I know I'm answer. not. You've been very interested in conventional ambiguous things in books, art, and movies. I agree. I strongly agree. I'm not really into art and movies, but I like books. Does that count? So uh, Sure. But do you read the books that everyone reads, or do you read books that no one else reads? Both. I will read the new, you know, bestsellers, but I'll also read stuff that are old. Like what? Old doesn't mean that it's unconventional. If you're saying, like, I read Pride and Prejudice, so I'm unconventional. Everyone reads Pride and Prejudice. No, no, no. Like... Okay, for example, I'm trying to read all of Jodi Picoult's books. I'm going to go get a book that you're reading right now. And I want, well, I, I want the internet to see. I want them I want from the, the library. The book that you're reading right now. But I also... I finished that book last night. Where is it? It's on the floor. It's The Girl on the you're Train. Reading, you are reading The Girl on the Train because we saw the trailer for the movie. Not because... Listen, that book has been around for a little while, and I'm I know not, that because I'm a reader. So when did you start reading it? After or before you saw the trailer for the movie? After I saw the trailer. I was one. But it's been on my book wish list for quite a while. I'm going to let you be wrong. I'm going to let you pick that answer. I'm not going to argue about it anymore. The but I want you I to know, to and I want them to, to know. that I have a book wish list? Name three books on that wish list. There's a liar one. What is it called? Liar. Liar, okay. There's, um... Is it the one that just says liar on the front and it's, like, etched in? I don't remember the cover it okay. is. Um, I want to say The Girl on the Train. Does that count? You have that, so no. Okay. We already talked about that one. Um, I said you were can wrong. I pull out my, my, my... No, no. I don't want to spend that much time on this. Moving over here. You often take initiative in social situations. Strongly agree. Middle agree. Not because I want to, though, but because I'm very task-oriented... And if nobody, it's like when we were in Hey, listen, I love you. Can you do me a favor? Can you just move down one circle? That's all I'm asking. Because in reality, I want you to move down like four. But I'll be fine if you just move down one. Just move, just I, please, I don't want to fight about it. Either yes or no. Can, can you, you move down let one me or can you not? myself? Okay. So when, say for example, we're in a group, nobody is stepping up. Nobody is stepping up to be the leader because nobody wants to do it. I don't want to do it any more than the next person. Okay. But rather than the painful silence of it, nobody stepping up to do it, I will take initiative. Here's what I see with these three circles. Strongly agree to me is what? Fine. Look, I moved it down. Okay. Results. Why are you upset? I don't want you to be upset at me. This is supposed to be fun for us. <laughs> okay. Whew. Your personality type is defender. What does that mean? <laughs> um, I don't know. You're a defender. This... I'm 41% extroverted and 59% introverted. Yeah. For my energy, I'm 29% intuitive. Come closer this way. You're getting off camera. 51% observant. For nature, I'm 39% thinking and 61% feeling. Judging! <laughs> Wait, tactics. Judging! Wait, tactics. This trait reflects our approach to work, planning, and decision making. 83% judging and 17% prospecting. I don't, I don't understand that. What Prospecting, one. I think, is like checking things out, making sure everything's okay before you judge. You just judge. You, you're so close to just being <laughs> judging. Crap. Okay, for my identity, I'm 39% assertive and 61% turbulent. What's a turbulent? That's like That's rocky? like when a plane goes down. <laughs> I know. That's what the experience I know what turbulence is, but turbulent, I'm like, rocky? I'm unstable? <laughs> Yeah, it means that you're not confident in what you're asserting. Oh, in my identity. I'm not confident in my identity. Yeah, because that sounds I better. can see that. Okay. Okay, mine is... um. Wait, so am I, is this bad? Leave it up because remember you need to get that code for the guy. Write that down somewhere. I'll okay. Just take a picture of it. Mine is, for my mind, I am 92% extroverted and 8% introverted. For energy, I am 72% intuitive and 28% observant, which means that I jump headlong into things oh more God. often. For nature, I tend to think more than I feel. For tactic, I tend to prospect more than I judge. So an identity, I am assertive in how I feel and what I think. I, so, <laughs> I like the quotes where your quote is, we are born not just for ourselves. My quote is, may I point out a couple of mistakes in your argument? <laughs> I want the word bitch at the end. May I point out a couple of mistakes in your argument, bitch? 
I feel like <laughs> I would take a picture for the for the counselor. Where's my phone? <laughs> hey, this is the best thing ever. I'll just take a picture for you. Take a picture for me, please. I don't like my answer, and I'm very upset because I just feel like I'm a weak person. <laughs> I just want to go hide under a rock. Did you get the code too, or you yes, just took a picture of it? Because mine, you didn't get the code. Oh, you didn't ask me to get the code. He told us to get the code. Mm, I thought you were just wanting the quote. I love you. Scroll down so I can get your identity percentage. Awesome. Whew. Let's do one real quick for each other. Okay. Okay. Wait. We'll oh, run through what we think each other is. Um, we're not even going to read them. We're just going to run through. And I'm actually going to fast forward this part of the video until we get to the end. Okay. Because I think we kind of know what we would put for one another. Okay. Okay. Ready? Set. Go. When I have, oh, it's getting the. It's loading. It's not moving yet. Just let it load. Do the thing. Hmm. We know each other pretty well. Pretty well. I think we see each other as um very um. Yeah. Okay, the word doesn't come to mind right now, but we think things are very extra exaggerated. Uh -huh. So, like, you'll say... Yeah, I agree. I think it's the same thing that it was before, just everything is pushed over Yeah. more from where it was. Should we take pictures of these and show them to him? No, we can just tell him. Do you remember your code? I have it written down. Okay. Because the one that you got from me is all the same except for that last letter. The T? Yeah. What it, I think mine was... I'm curious what that means. So the one that I had. See, you didn't do it. I have a T. Okay. I S F J T. Is mine the same? Yours was an A. What does that mean? What does the T mean? Oh, I have you here as being more turbulent. Was yours probably oh, was more yeah, assertive? Oh yeah. See, mine was more assertive. Yours is more T, turbulent. Uh huh. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So now we know a little bit more about each other. I love you. <laughs> Let's get married. Okay. Thank you for watching we... this very what. Uh, I thought we were gonna do the um, head thing. No, that's for a different episode. That's not what we're doing that right now. Thank you for watching this very special uh, episode of the podcast. I appreciate you. You're the best. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. Um, if you don't want more content like this, you're very lucky because I make a ton of other types of videos. Do you like video games? No? Too bad. That's all I have on my channel. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you. You're the best. And bye.